He was born in an attic. Homeowner saw the mother raccoon coming and going and he had it trapped. Four days later, he heard some chattering in his attic. He did not know that there were babies in the attic. Elio was the only survivor of four raccoons. The other three raccoons that Mama had passed away due to malnourishment. Elio was the extreme ultimate fighter. He was admitted to Samadhi Wildlife, my nonprofit organization. We rescue and rehabilitate Florida native wildlife. When he came to me, he was very, very thin. His size was smaller than a smartphone. The ears were closed, the eyes were closed. When they're first born, they're probably about, you know, about that big, so they're pretty small. I'm the clinician for all the animals. I treated him with aggressive fluid therapy. He was receiving vitamins and minerals, and he was on a heating pad. About four days into his treatment, he started to turn around. He blossomed and came back to life. Just an incredible little fighter. He beat all odds. I nursed him back to a healthy, full-grown, thriving raccoon that was ready for his soft release, is when they start going into the wild and they start acclimating to the outdoor sounds, noises, and they start exploring their environment so that they can learn um, what their new life is going to entail. So during that process, Elio would come and go, and he actually disappeared for weeks. And I was just an absolute nervous wreck, just knowing that something was not right and he got injured. That was very heartbreaking. And today, he is unable to walk properly. He's just not releasable, and he has now become a permanent resident. He stays in, always safe in his little nest, which is the bedroom. He's welcome to go anywhere he wants, whenever he wants, but he feels a lot more safe in the room. We have another raccoon, his name is Maverick, and Elio absolutely adores him. Maverick is another survivor. He was found in the woods by somebody on horseback in the middle of the winter. He was just completely by himself. There was no sign of mom. That person brought him to me and immediately we started the same protocol. Heat therapy, fluid therapy, vitamins, minerals. Now Maverick is in soft release. He is at that stage where he's coming and going and he's staying out for long periods of time. And they've just recently reunited and just playing and loving on each other and grooming each other. So Elio is really, really happy. <laughs> Elio is comfortable with me. If he can't fully climb something properly, he waits for me to come over to him. He trusts me endlessly. And that means the world to me. He is just the most courageous little being and his fight and strength to survive and thrive is off the Richter scale. I just absolutely love him and I'll protect him forever.